QuickBooks Online, how to pay bills. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and here we are in the sample company QuickBooks Online file for Craig's Design and Landscape Services, and I'm gonna show you how to pay bills in QuickBooks Online, because this can easily get messed up and cause some problems in your checking account and your books in general. All right, so here, what we're gonna do first, you're gonna go up to the New button, Okay, you click this and you'll see under vendors, pay bills. Now, if you have not learned how to enter bills, then I would suggest going back and looking at the tutorials I have on my channel about entering bills in QuickBooks Online. So this is after you have entered the bill in QuickBooks Online. You're gonna click this right here, pay bills. And it's gonna bring up the screen. It's gonna show you all of the bills that you have entered into QuickBooks Online that are outstanding that need to be paid. All right, so first things first, let's start up here. You wanna make sure that the payment account is correct. So if you're paying by credit card, you'll see it's got MasterCard. So the only options here are checking savings, MasterCard and Visa. You may have some other credit cards, some other different bank accounts, whatever the case may be, but you wanna make sure that you're choosing the right account. Now, question comes up, what if I'm paying by debit card? Okay, so a debit card is something that takes directly out of your checking account, and a credit card is a liability that you will owe to the credit card company. So. When you use a credit card, the credit card company pays the bill for you and then says, hey, you owe us this money. And if you don't pay, we're going to pay, we're going to charge you a ton of interest. A debit card, on the other hand, comes directly out of your checking account. So what you want to do here is if you are using a debit card, do not choose credit card. You want to choose checking. You do not need to set up a debit card bank account in QuickBooks Online. OK, so just use checking if you're using your debit card. Now, if you are printing a check, you're gonna come over here first, make sure the date's right, which it's gonna to default to today's date, so it's most likely right. And then over here, so if we're printing a check, all right, so if you wanna print this right now, you're gonna put in the check number of the check that you're gonna be printing. So in this case, we'll assume it's 71. Now, if you're going to print them later, okay, so, Let's say that you check off all of these, all three of these here, and we're gonna print these later, then you don't need to put in a check number. I'll show you briefly after this example where to print the checks. Now, if you're using a debit card, all right, what you wanna do is put in here, I always put in EFT for electronic funds transfer. Some people will put in debit, uh, you know, you can put electronic, you can put anything you want. It does not have to be a physical check number. All right. So for me, EFT, I'm doing online bill pay. That's how I'm going to enter that. So we've got our uh, uh, bills checked off here. Now, one thing that you can do that uh, a lot of people are not aware of is you can come over here to payment. And if let's say that for this PG&E bill, we're only gonna pay $40, just change the amount and type in 40. And it's going to leave the balance of $46.44 as a bill that still needs to be paid. So you can change the amount that you wanna pay. If there are credits that you need to use that you have entered into QuickBooks, you will see those here. In this, these, this example here, there are none available, but if you have credits, they will show up and you can apply those credits. Okay, come down here, it shows you the current checking account balance 1201, you're paying 560, new account balance 641. Now, the important thing is down here, you can schedule the payments online. All right, now what it's gonna do if you click this is you have to sign up for the service through Intuit and they will charge you fees to pay the bills for you online. All right, they're not cheap, but you can do it. Or you can save, you can save and print, or you can save and close. All right, so let me go back up here. I'm gonna say print later, and then we're going to save and close. Okay, so now it's saved. Now, if we needed to go print the checks, you're gonna go up here to new under vendors, you'll see print checks. 
and it's going to bring up uh, you're going to print a sample because you want to make sure that everything is lined up. And once it's lined up, all right, it will ask you what your first check number is that you're printing. And you want to make sure that you enter that first check number uh, because it will automatically assign the ones right after that to the next check. So that's it on how to pay bills in QuickBooks Online. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I will see you in the next video.